The less common, but not unheard of, and not even unheard of in the in the uh, earlier uh, uh, earliest stages of investment. And cash flow rights are independently allocated to the control rights. And then the control rights, they're perhaps easiest separated in two dimensions. First is the veto rights. These are passive rights afforded to investors, which allow blocking of, of certain things that entrepreneurs might want to do, such as buying assets, selling assets, changing control, uh, issuing more equity. And then the more proactive control rights, which um, are, are extremely uh, heavy-handed in many cases. For instance, in, in uh, many venture capital contracts, as I've um, shown in, uh, in recent data from uh, Europe and abroad, many venture capital contracts have uh, either explicitly or implicitly the right to replace the founding entrepreneur as the CEO of the company. And that um, uh, can be uh, uh, allocated part and parcel with some other uh, strong, strong control rights, many of which are geared towards facilitating the sale of the company and, and, and having a legal system which uh, allows those rights to be uh, voluntarily allocated and protected after they're allocated is, is a very important to the venture capital process in the financing of innovation. Uh, this is um, something Sophie and I published in a recent uh, paper in the European Economic Review last year, uh, just, just to give you a sense of the variety of securities used. In, in, in the United States, most uh, venture capital contracts, are almost all, are done with convertible preferred equity. However, in, in, there, there's actually a tax bias in favor of convertible preferred equity in the U.S., um, which was uh, shown in a paper in 2003 in the Harvard Law Review. Uh, by Gilson and Schieser. Whereas in other countries, including Canada, where I'm, where I'm from, and uh, other, other places around the world, venture capital contracts are much more heterogeneous, where you see a variety of securities being used. Uh, most, most countries, common equity is the most uh, uh, frequently used security, uh, but convertible preferreds are used along with other, other uh, uh, security types. And they, these different securities, how they're used in, in, in conjunction with the, the, the allocation of control rights, significantly influence the profitability and exit success of the companies in which, they're, they're, they've been, uh, which, the, which have been backed. And so what, what we see in our uh, European data, which includes uh, uh, many investments from Italy, but also other continental European countries, is that you see convertible contracts with more detailed control rights, such as the right to replace the founding entrepreneur as the CEO of the company, uh, in conjunction with uh, both pre-plan acquisition exits and uh, more often used by corporate venture capitalists. And there's, there's a, really a good reason for both of these, um, which is uh, 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 directly connected to the sale of the company, and that is entrepreneurs uh, sometimes have this non-pecuniary preference to want to be the CEO of the company. So if you think of entrepreneurs like, uh, the, the one I often admittedly have in my head is entrepreneurs like Martha Stewart, who would just loathe the idea that her company might be taken away from her and sold to another company. They have this non-pecuniary preference to, to uh, remaining CEO, whereas venture capitalists are always interested in the financial motive. They're just interested in generating the maximum possible return for their investment. And so when you have entrepreneurs uh, not wanting to sell their company by way of acquisition, the investors sometimes have to use these very detailed contractual rights to force the sale of the company that might not otherwise be uh, what the entrepreneur actually desires. And so when, when investors are planning to sell the company, they're more likely to take these heavy-handed control rights. Uh, similarly, if you have corporate venture capitalists, a, a very important part of the venture capital market, not, not limited partnership fund, but rather, uh, say, a subsidiary of a larger corporation, when they have um, uh, sometimes uh, non-financial reasons for investing, such as acquiring the technology being developed by the, by the startup, uh, they're, they're going to have more heavy-handed control rights to to control how that technology gets developed. Um, then conversely, uh, what, what we see uh, for various proxies that we use for experience, that the entrepreneurs, uh, uh, the ones that are more experienced tend to have 
uh, common equity investments, fewer contractual terms, and more often in ex exited by way of an initial public offering. So what, what, what exactly are these exits? Uh, let's, let's spend a little bit of time talking about this before we get to returns. We, we have five main ways in which venture capitalists can exit their investments, either through an initial public offering, uh, an acquisition, or a merger you might refer to it as for a more equal-sized uh, uh, acquirer. Secondary sales, where the entrepreneur sells uh, or I should say the venture capitalist sells his or her investment, but the entrepreneur retains their ownership stake in the company. Buybacks, which are just essentially a, the entrepreneur repurchases the interest from the, from the venture capitalist. And I, I should say, actually, secondary sales and buybacks are definitely not attractive exit vehicles. These are, are highly uh, undesirable from a financial returns uh, point of view because there's very little new capital is coming into the company. And then uh, the worst, of course, is the write-off or, or liquidations where the venture capitalist uh, walks or runs, runs away from the investment. And so what, what drives these choice of exit vehicles? There are really five main, thing, main things, which I'll talk a little bit about each of these in separate slides. Uh, we have firm characteristics both for the entrepreneur and the venture capitalist. So ability, if you will, ability of both parties uh, matters. Then, as we've been talking about these contracts, how the cash flow and control rights get allocated between the investor and the investee. Um, market conditions, that's, that's a natural thing. And, and as I started out today, uh, the, the legal and institutional uh, variables that are across countries, so quality of of market and legal conditions uh, has uh, significant influence on success factors across countries. So there's a big scope, if you will, for public policy uh, for facilitating exit markets, which in turn benefit uh, venture capital markets and the financing of innovation. And so on, on these uh, uh, entrepreneur characteristics, very, just very quickly, there's issues to do with size, um, uh, quality, and uh, uh, industry factors, location, and uh, uh, possible uh, transaction synergies. Don't want to talk a lot about each of these. Uh, uh, perhaps, perhaps a little bit on uh, venture capital characteristics. Uh, there, there are um, uh, massive differences in the quality of venture capital funds. So getting, uh, uh, perhaps in the spirit of our, of our first talk today, that uh, 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 quality is uh, uh, just n not about the capital that you get. So getting capital from a top tier venture capital fund is vastly different than getting capital from, uh, uh, I, I put up a quote unquote Fargo venture capital fund. This is uh, uh, one of these jokes that might not translate across countries. But let's just say Fargo is, uh, um, I, I can make fun of it because it's close to the hometown that I grew up in. Um, is uh, not not the most uh, sophisticated place in the world, as I like to uh, like to say. And so the, there's a massive performance persistence in venture capital and private equity. And the top tier funds have these, if you will, intangibles that are uh, uh, not easily replicable and and facilitate uh, much better performance of the venture. And and uh, so getting, getting financing, even if it's on the same dollar terms from one VC fund, can be totally different from another VC fund. And, and uh, that's uh, a, a big to do with uh, facilitating success. Uh, 